Hang in, hello, let's play fans, it's your old pal Berg787, back for a brand new episode of Darkest Dungeon. Uh, today's episode, well, freshly after coming off destroying, annihilating, whooping, pissing in his face, to be perfectly honest, on the fulminating prophet, um, that boss was as easy as, well, it, it was ridiculous how easy he was. I mean, it was just, yeah, I fought maggots that were harder and longer fought battles than against him. So there you go. That says it all. Uh, this time round, I do want to go and take on the, uh, this thing, the unstable flesh. But I think last time I took the sort of the apprentice version on, I think I had the man at arms with me. And I'd like to take him again. But old Blue, it's only a level 2, so we kind of need to do a little bit of leveling up. So what I've decided to do is go on this warren. Uh, it's a long warren, so it should give us plenty of bang for our buck. Um, yep, yeah, we'll pick up a few trinkets and all that along the way. Hopefully some cash. Uh, and I'm going to take a team of people who could do some leveling up. So Dunsk is going to come along. We are also going to take uh, Val Valognes. He's going to come, Blue it, and course me. There we go. Now... Let me just double check if they need any kind of upgrades. Upgrades, they do. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got him sorted. You, Dunsk. Dunsk, maybe if I put you in there. There we go. Uh, you're all alright, buddy. Uh, next, course me. Yeah, you can get some uh, buffs as well your attacks and who was the other person who else would we take oh yeah Velognes. i don't think he can take anything no no he's too lower level he's still level zero um uh, as for the weapons kind of the same deal here with this chap um not really much we can do with him in that regard but that's fine there's other stuff we can do for other people there we go namely the man at arms course me and Dunsk, I'm presuming you can get upgraded as well. No? Oh, okay, you're all good. You've got the four camping skills. You definitely won't, but let me just check. Yeah, so we'll sort that out for you. Blue it, you've got the four. And Corsume, you've only got the three. So Corsume and Dunsk need to go and hang out at the survivalist camp here, which is maxed out. So there you are, Velognes. So usually we take that. Mm -mm -mm. Reduces stress or companion. Yeah, I don't mind. I do kind of like that one. I kind of always say it just in case you're the most stressed. And you can kind of afford to raise everyone else's self. Increases stress by 15, one companion plus. Wow, that's pretty good. And it raises your own stress. Quite a cool buff. You know, I think I'm going to get that one as well. It only cost one as well, so it could be quite handy to use the abandoned hope if he you, if you necessarily needs it. And who was the other person I said? Course of me, wasn't it? Yeah, bit will be course of me, so we'll take that. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. And I'll take that as well. Okay, so you can have that, and don't care about that scout ahead. I'm less likely to be surprised. And do 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 Valognes. So yeah, that dark ritual is not bad either, actually. <laughs> um. Oh, that's fine. I can take three. So that's what I was going to do. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's us all good. I have equipped uh, off camera, I equipped some trinkets and I'll discuss them in a second. Let me just put our party together in this screen. So, Dunsk, Valognes, Bluet, and Korsume. All right, so, I'll Bluet. Um, basically, I gave him because I like him to be the tank. And absorb hits as well, where he uses his what is it? Uh, I can't remember what it is. Retribution, where everyone starts attacking him. So trying to give him more health points. That's kind of the idea. More HP. Um, so he's combined that. I gave him the bloodthirsty ring, which gives him plus ten percent max health points. Minus four dodge. Yeah. All right. Minus one hundred percent food consumed, which is kind of handy as well, so he doesn't have to eat. But um, but yeah. So minus four dodge. A little bit annoying because like whilst I do want him to have hit points, and he will be getting hit a lot. You know, dodge. Normally I don't bother too much about dodge, but. If you are going to be targeted, I don't want you to be too bad at dodging. So what I've done is combated that with the slippery boots, which gives him plus four dodge, but minus ten move resistance. So that was kind of the idea there. Um, next, Valognes. Uh, basically, always like with the occultist, especially, but Vestrals, any kind of healer, uh, I always like them to go as quickly as possible. I couldn't do a really great job. This is the best I could kind of find to max the speed out. So I gave him the swift cloak, plus two speed, minus four ack. And then counts, counteracted the accuracy with a plus four, minus two dodge. So, got a bit of a buff into speed. And I do want him to try and go as quickly as possible. Preferably before Korsume 
and goes. And I think he should because he speed six, Corsa May speed five. Gave basically Corsa May the two bounty hunter things, which, you know, makes sense. They're both for the bounty hunter, more damage from the melee, a bit more movable, but stress healing, blah, 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 you know, those kind of things. I might actually look into that. I kind of just automatically just give them, but there might be better options. But for this dungeon, I'll be all right. And finally, Dunsk. What I did was I uh, gave him the highwayman, uh, this one, the, the drifter buckle. So more dodge, less stress heal, more trap disarm. And then I gave him this ancestral thing as well. So because the negative on that is the dodge and a bit of move resist as well. But plus 12 accuracy and plus 5 critical. That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good indeed, I say. All right. Anyway, let's go and get some provisions. We shall take... A bit, a bit, I'm going to take 8 food. 12 and 8. A little bit less. Because old um, Blewett, I don't think he has to eat anymore. Apparently. 100% minus 100% food resist. So, not going to be looking for him to eat. We will take 3 shovels. No keys. Take 8 torches. I'm not really sure. We should take some bandages. I'll take 3 bandages. And we'll hit the road. These tunnels are often blocked by piled stones and bodies. It's dirty work to remove them by hand. So it is. So it is. Imagine having to remove all of that by hand. Dirty work. Well, I suppose you could wear gloves. That'd probably help. But, you know, it'd just be hard lifting. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Okay. Right up, left up, right, and then I can't really see what's going on there, but it'll be an up, so we'll do that. Chugga, 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 chugga. All right, I was going to take it. Relax, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take so early in, I, I normally burn them when it gets me over the eight, but what can you do? Oh, some maggots. Maggots! Wow, you got to go first straight away. It's your speed nine. Have you got some sort of perk for the first round or something like that? Quick draw. Ah, right, okay. It's a little bit annoying. But I suppose on the second round. So basically always remember, no need to mark first round. Or unless you've got nothing else to do when this guy's in the group. Must remember that. Right. You should be able to just collect a bounty here and kill someone. There we go. One down. Next. Well, I suppose they'll get a couple. Of, oh, no. We got to attack before them. Cool. All right. Well, let's just crush these maggots because... You know, what else are we going to do with him? Boom! Oh, and a critical as well. Good times. Good start indeed. I don't like them attacking, but looks like they're... Whoa, 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 whoa! The fuck's this? Oh, shit. Thankfully... Thankfully... I've actually got two of the ones that he would normally have, but I forgot to actually change his skills around. The other one that he would have is the Demon Pull. So... Little bit of a silly mistake by me. I forgot to change it because I don't usually have that. I usually have the demon pull, but I don't use it that often. Um, but, you know, I do like to have it as an option. So a little bit annoying, but okay, it's fine. We've got the other two. These are the two main ones anyway, the vulnerable hex and the uh, wired reconstruction. So as long as we've got those two, we're all, 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 we're, are all right. Shall I actually, um, you know what? I might as well put a little hex on one of them because... You know, why not? I can do a bit of damage to it. Never know. Could kill it with a critical, but also make them less likely to hit because they are going to get... One of them's going to get an attack at some stage, so... Ah, uh, you. Go on. Boom. Put a little hex. Oh, he resisted the hex, did he? What a motherfucker. Oh, he come back at him, though. The grape... Well, the other one did. Okay, cool. So, I could do grape shot blast here. Could kill both. We'll definitely kill that one if we do hit. Ah... The damage had been the other way round, it would have been perfect, but never mind. Oh, we could do it again. No, I'm not going to do it again. Just open his vein. And there we go. So we didn't even get touched. That was quite nice. Good start, lads. Good start. Head off. Okay. Ooh, surprised him as well. Nice. Because this is a little bit of a trickier party than four maggots, that's for sure. Um... Right, right then. Okay, well, we can kill the cultist brawler with a hit. Might not, but we can. Oh, you lucky bastard. Left him with one bit of health. All right, never mind. Um, You, cripple pig, you could kill him, but you need a big boy shot to kill him. But we could, we'll, we'll, we'll go for it. Oh, nines. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Don't really need to do anything else other than maybe putting a little hex on you. So we'll put the hex on the swine chopper. There we 
we go. You are marked. And now this grape shot blast can hit all of them. That's still good, though. So they, even though they went down to very little health, they managed to survive the initial killing blows. They should both die here as long as we hit. Yep. Okay, cool. And uh, here they come. Wish he had some sort of stun move so I could stun the swine drum. I don't want him raising my stress. It's not something I'm a big fan of. Um, uh, 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 we might as well just do that to him. There's nothing really else. Well, I suppose why not just hex him, actually? That was probably the better move to do. But um, never mind. Never mind. You couldn't kill. Well, you could, in theory, kill the swine drummer, I think, if you done maximum, which is 11, and bled him. I suppose we could try. 10. Oh, I was unlucky. You did bleed him. Yeah, look at that. One off. But it doesn't matter. We're still going to be able to kill him. Uh, I am actually going to finish him off rather than the swine chopper just because... Stress. Stress. Oh, actually, you know what? No. Why don't I... Yeah, either way. All right. Let's just finish him off. Bye-bye. Don't want stress. It's a long dungeon. And it's still early doors in the dungeon. Yeah, he'll do a little bit of an attack on me. But four health is much easier to claim back than five stress, you know? Uh, right. Okay. And crush. Oh, wow, look at that. Well, if you're doing criticals often, then the stress doesn't really bother me at all, because we just get it back there. Uh, 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 okay, we're getting quite a few busts in here. Go on, buddy. Have a little findle with it. Wow. All right, never mind. Fuck you. We'll use our torch, and we'll move on to the next one. That seems like a long way just for one corridor. Like I'm surprised it's only been one. But I suppose it's good when we have action, fights. That's what we're here for. Oh. All right, another fight. And surprising again. Good, good, good. Boys, masters of sneaking. Uh, we could kill these carrion eaters, and they are a little bit nasty, so let's try that. Boom. I mean, they're nasty for nine hit points, you know, like, in comparison. That's what my point is. Uh, she's more nasty, though, just because of that stress, so I would like to hurt her. That's annoying. I would have liked to... I didn't expect to kill her, but I did want to do a little bit more damage so that when the, um, uh, the t -t 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 grape shot blast came, it would have killed her, but... Unfortunately, that's not quite the case. I might have to use this just to make sure. There we go. We'll debuffer as well, and now we we'll use the Grape Shot Blast to finish her off and do a bit more damage to Toothy Penis. Ah, uh, okay, two damage. That's all right. I'll live with that. I don't really like the Blight, though. That was unnecessary. Uncalled for, I should say. Take that. A trifling victory. Cool. All right. It's only one Blight damage. I'll live with it. There's worse things out there. Oh, perfect. That is exactly then what I said at the start. It was like, boom, 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 boom. And then we might have to do a bit of backtrack. So we only have to backtrack once, it looks like, which is good. Which is very good. We might not even have to backtrack if we get a scout out, because we have to complete 100% of run battle. Oh, you bled. Two damage. And you've already just taken one. All right, fuck it. Don't want you bleeding. Don't want you bleeding. We'll take this torch. And we might as well use it. Don't want to take up an inventory slot. An extra one. You know, we've got the maximum there with eight torches. Anyone in here? No? Okay, so fight's starting to slow down after the initial flurry. But don't worry, I'm sure we'll run into... Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Right, Wolverine. Die! There we go. I was pretty confident of that for some reason, and it worked. Uh, oh, fuck off. Don't bleed him. All right, you bled in. But it's only one bleed damage. We can live with that. Now, I don't want to use a Grape Shot Blast here. I'd rather open your vein. So we'll do... It. Oh, chopped off her head. So bye-bye. And now we should be able to kill this guy pretty easily. Um, no need to really hex him. Or, well, she could heal himself, I suppose. Yeah, you know what? Might as well heal yourself. Resist the bleed. Five. Perfect. I think that's actually... Yeah, put, that is exactly what you had to heal. Cool. You beat up on him. Oh, wow, not quite. I thought that was going to kill him, but... Close. No cigar, but he gets to go again. Gets to go again. And he's dead. A lot of criticals from the man-at-arms. And I didn't actually give him something that increased his critical chances. I gave this guy the chance to increase his critical, but... Hey-ho. Take more cash. Oh, finally, a bit. I haven't come across one crate or sack. That was the first one, and it's been quite a while. Usually they're a dime a dozen in these... Uh, and these are corridors, but hey ho. Alright. Ooh, okay. Captain Pighook here. Yeah? Alright. I'll fuck him up. I'll fuck them all up. Don't like this vomit though. What are you doing? What's all this quickness, you fucking crippled pigs? How can you be that quick? Bastards. 
All right, but he got to go first this time, did he? All right, so we'll instantly put a little hex on uh, Swine Chopper, I think. We might as well take advantage of that this time round. Yep, and then we shall hit him. Could kill him. Oh! 60 damage. That's um, That actually might be the most I've seen in this campaign that I've been doing. 60 damage from one crit. So good times. Um, all right, who's next? I, really? I mean, these are more annoying than Captain Pighook, but I just don't like Captain Pighook, so I think I'm going to kill him. Oh, really, you lucky bastard. Bleed? Yeah, alright, at least he bled, so he's dead. That's fine. Probably should have killed one of these two. Well, I won't feel as bad if he can kill one. Ah, left him with one bit of health. Now they're going to vomit on me. Ah, see, good dodging there. Dodge the vomit. You might as well, Grape Shot Blast. Yeah, you might as well, because that one attacked anyway, so he's not going to... They'll be dead before we're done, and you'll just finish off this guy from attacking, so... There we go. Bye-bye. You need to heal anyone? No, might as well just put this little curse. Oh, wow, okay, good times. Killing him with the curse. This cool. Uh, makeshift dining table. I think you need, like, stuff for this. You need, like, uh, I think it's, like, herbs to, you know, cure the diseaseness that's in the fucking food. Yeah, I'm not eating it. Oh, I don't want to do that, though. I'm not touching that food. So we'll come this way. Move along. So far, moseying through pretty quickly. Sack contents are ours. More food. Excellent. We haven't actually eaten once yet. Okay, he wants to have a little look at this bone altar, so that's nice. That's what you got. There's nothing of value inside. Well, all right. At least we didn't, you know, get blighted or had our head cut off or some other horrible shit that can happen. Anyone in here? No, but we do get a scout out. We just came from that room, right? Yeah, of course we did. Ah, we've got some fights, though. Cool, cool, cool. Let's head north. There is a fight. Not in the room. But on the way to the room, four more crests, falcon crests, crestios. Uh, come on, who are we fighting? Spitters! Oh shit, you know what? That light's pretty low. But we'll be fine. Unfortunately, I don't think... Can I uh, hit the back? Yeah, I can, and I can kill him. There we go. He's the most dangerous, as always. The spitters kill the spitters, and then the webbers, yeah, who really gives two hoots. Uh, we'll curse him. Take that. Curses! Yeah, good stuff. Minus 10 accuracy, minus 30 damage. Very nice. Shall we grape shot blast them? Yeah, we could actually finish them both off, in theory. Probably won't, but we did kill one. That was enough. And you, my friend, kill him. And we're all good. Ooh, wow, rubies. All right, that was a lot of gold from those spiders. Rich spiders. The upper crust, the 1% spiders. Uh, no one in here. Maybe it's time to use some torches. Although, saying that, my stress levels are fairly low, but I don't really like going around in the dark. Scared of it. Uh, you, you, oh, good job, go on, what happened to you as well, I only freed, oh no, you did get bled though, two damage, what, that looked a bit weird, um, yeah, go on, heal yourself, I don't want you bleeding, don't like people bleeding, oh, and you want to have a look at this, do you, oh, look at this sword stuck in a plank of wood, and you receive a nasty gash, and then you get blood. How bad is it? It's, it's pretty bad. All right, so we'll use up the last of our bandages. Good stuff. That's why you bring him, because my people are children. What's this? Oh, I cut myself. Anyone in here? No, okay. So we'll head on. I should really use um, one of my one of my camps. I haven't done so yet. Let's keep... Oh, go on. Have a look at this. I wonder what, what's in here. Yeah. I need... Um, I know what I need for these. Nothing but rotting bodies. But if you have the... For here, really, you need the medicinal herbs for a lot of stuff. Really goes a treat, curing a lot of this stuff, and it makes it all usable. Oh, we got surprised, did we? All right. Well, I suppose it was going to happen sooner or later. Unfortunately, we are um, a little bit annoyed, so we'll stun you. Good, good, good. Brings you a bit nearer as well, but we don't need to do anything to you just yet. We'll give a bit of a grape shot blast, hit them all. I'll guarantee some kills. You might as well just jump back. Oh, actually saying that, that was a bit silly. I should have just put a... That was silly. That was that was a silly, silly mistake. I should have just put a curse on him and it would have killed him. Now instead, he's taken a bunch of damage and he's taken one blight damage as well. That was very silly of me, I have to say. Boom, see you later. That makes me feel a little bit better about life. Um, but I'm still annoyed about that. Still annoyed about that. Because it was such a, it was so easily avoided. Alright, you need to do a heal. Resist. Two. Is that it? That was a critical as well. Pretty pathetic. Alright. Oh, there we go. There's some criticals. All right, I never miss. Well, that's not entirely true, but you, you do a pretty good job. Oh, Helion, what's this? 
That's not good, considering I like to use a Helion with the bleed skill. But I suppose you can give something else that buffs the bleed skill. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not really going to be able to carry that around for much longer. So, we're never going to get to use it. Yeah, I'm not going to carry that around. I've got no spare room, spare sorts on my people. So, bye. Uh, onwards. I am actually going to camp, I think. I'll camp at the end of this corridor. Here is where I'll camp. Oh, kind of wish I'd camp now. Let me use this torch! Oh, at least he missed. Yeah, it's a little bit of a nastier fight than what I wanted right before uh, right before campings. But um, we'll be alright. Ah, see, I would like to heal, but I think we should really take this opportunity to hex him. Since we've gone first. Drums of debilitation. Alright. Yeah, you've marked me and debilitated me. You've made me less likely to dodge. That's not really a debilitation in my book. Hmm. Mm, mm. All right, let's get rid of this captain. Oh, really? Is that all you did? Well, at least you bled him, so he's dead. I was going to say, I was like pathetic damage. You did like debuff your uh, strength, only your dodge. All right, come on, collect this bounty. Kill him. Yeah, 60 again. Look at that. Really doesn't like these swine choppers. Take that, 60. Boom. Right. You, uh, you die. Ah. Oh. Didn't quite, didn't quite, didn't quite. Now he's going to vomit on me? No, he's not, because I'm going to grape shot blast him. You fucking little pig shit. Can't believe he survived. It's rather annoying. Uh, but never mind, he's dead now. 30. Well, he's got on a beast mode here, of course, from there. Just boom, critical, boom, critical. Yeah, 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 mark me. Who are you marking me for, you stupid fucking prick? Uh, you might as well just heal yourself. Oh, you bled yourself, and only two... You're a bit bit of a bit of a retard, aren't you? Never mind. Bang. And we'll do that. <sighs> well I'll take that just to throw it away. We're good with that. Good with the citrine. We are good with the gold. And we're good with the emeralds, actually. I'm good with all of that. Uh we are going to have a little camp. Just to free up some room if more than anything else. We'll eat our food. There we go, good times. Uh, you could do with a bit of wound care, my friend, just to remove that bleeding, hopefully. Yeah, it did, and it healed you up. Good times. There's only a little bit of stress for you as well, so we'll use that here. Bam, didn't quite get rid of all of it. That's a little bit annoying, but never mind. What can we do here? All companions gain 10 dodge. Kind of like that. Kind of like that indeed. You could use that, and then we would have, then we would have a two left. Hmm. And then probably use that. Alright, cool. That's what we're going to do. So, all companions plus 10 dodge. Uh, where was it? You clean your guns. And you do this so we're less likely to be surprised and more likely to surprise monsters. And good. Nice and easy does it. Let's get a hit. Let's go to sleep. Hopefully we won't get ambushed. Yeah, good times. No ambush as well. The sacrificial stone. Oh, keep doing that. Don't want to do that. Uh, 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 uh. It's deeply disturbed. Oh wow, that was a lot of stress. Oh well, never mind. We've got another camp. We'll use it again. We'll do enough criticals to sort that out as well. Well done, you didn't want to touch it this time. You learnt. You went, ah, oh, I cut my hand last time. Don't want to do that twice. You go over here. Well, it's the first shovel I think we've used. shovel -ier. Anyone in here? Ooh, there is. Okay. Cool. Well, we would have had to have come in here anyway, because we need to do 100% of the room battles. Really? Really? Is that how you're going to play me? If you're criticals? All right, let me kill your Captain Pighook. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sir. Next. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. I haven't actually used Retribution yet. Because I've actually been doing a nice little combo of him weakening. Because he's been attacking kind of last anyway in the first round a lot of the time. So his Grape Shot Blast is usually killing at least one person. I think I'm going to keep that run going. So we'll hit you. Hey, that's not going to guarantee a kill from this Grape Shot Blast. Oh no, it will do actually as long as we hit. Well, provisos. Fingers crossed. Oh! 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 320 crits. That was pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie, that was pretty sweet. Right, um, you hex him. Actually, I probably shouldn't have bothered. I should have just cursed him instead. That would have been the better move. He would have done less damage. 
and maybe even missed. But um, never mind. Whatever. Curse him now. Kill him with the curse. Woo! All right. More food, eh? More food indeed. What is this? A bone altar. Just gonna keep touching all this and fucking me up. Oh, it infused me with a great power. Excellent. I got a buff. Ooh, wow. That's all right. That's pretty good. Can't complain with that. We got a scout out. We'll be scouting back the way we came. It's like, yeah, I know what was through there. What part of Now, let's see if he resists touching this again. I bet he doesn't. I bet he gets a little urge to, to touch this now. Watch. Oh, no, it was you. All right, okay. And you got bled this time as well. Oh, well, at least you resisted the bleed. It was like, ah, oh, I got cut. No, I didn't. I'm all right. It's only a flesh wound. Uh, right, come down here. We do have a fight on the way. Uh, uh, don't know why I did that. Didn't really need to raise the light just yet. Some heirlooms. Ah, thankfully, it's one that we can stack. But we are running out of um, space. It shouldn't be too bad. Vomit. All right, you do your vomit. We'll just do some criticals and we'll sort that out. Hmm. Okay, in this instance, probably open vein. Oh, well, he's quite bleed resistant. Maybe it would be better to do a, uh, a wicked slice. Does more damage. Doesn't do the bleed, but I should kill as long as I hit. There we go. That was better reasoning, so we'll take that. That's you dead. Now you hopefully can kill uh, Cripple Pig. Yep. Good, good, good. Perfect. Love it when a plan comes together. And you... Uh, you might as well have just... Hmm. Hmm. That stuns him as well. Yeah, go on, try and stun him. He resisted the stun. That's a little bit annoying, but we'll we'll curse you. There we go. You're gonna resist the curse now. You didn't resist the curse. So minus ten accuracy, minus thirty. So not a lot of damage there. He might bleed me though. He did because he's a fat prick. But um, never mind. We'll just beat him up some more. Thirteen. Okay, he's he's basically dead. How many goes are you getting, man? What's his butcher cut? That's it. You can't bleed him. He's he's unbleedable. We'll but curse you again. He's cursed. I've killed quite a few people with that curse. All right. Uh, you won't. Will you just not eat? Oh no, you will eat though. Well, I'm just eating basically just to negate the fact that he was bleeding. Uh, anti venom and jade. Ah, oh, that jade. We can't really carry it anywhere. Um, I could just throw away this food. I don't really want to do that though. Hmm. I could throw away the key. I think that's what I'm going to do because I don't like the keys. Anti venom. Mm, no, if it was the herbs though, I would have actually taken it just for the amount of things that I've been coming across that I could have used them on. But in this case, in this case, no, it's okay. Onwards. Anyone in here? No. Okay. Maybe, um, maybe we need to use our final camp just to really again free up some space. That's more why I'm thinking of not because we need. Well, I mean, and you to. Yeah, we will use it to get you down in that stress level as well. I don't want you going uh, getting afflicted here. All right, let's use that camp. And uh, it'll free up, as I said, a bit more space. So there we go. Take that. Now it's basically everyone. Oh, no, he's got this one as well. Yeah, called the dark. No, what was it? Abandoned hope. So it reduces his stress by 25. Everyone's increases by five. That's exactly the reason why I took it. If he's really stressed, then everyone else is fine. So we'll use that. That did quite a nice job. Didn't it? Uh, we will give you wound care. Ah, it didn't, it didn't heal your bleeding. That's kind of annoying, but never mind. We'll encourage you anyway. Uh, we'll give you a bit more encouragement. And why not one more bit of encouragement, eh? Because that's what kind of nice chaps we are. Maybe I'll even keep trying to get rid of your wounds. Yeah, we got rid of him. And I don't think we've got anything else that leaves us with one other than your abandoned hope, which we've already used. All right, cool. Let's uh, get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but we have been ambushed. In the middle of the night, I get ambushed in my sleep, and then my party jumps around, and I've got to dish out beats. Beats! And there we go, see? Good start. Uh, oh, at least you can shoot from back here. You can't quite kill. Unfortunately, you can't hit him, which is doubly annoying, because you could actually kill him. But, um, alright, well, whatever. You'll have to do what you can do. Oh, you can kill anyone with criticals. Good times. And that just leaves this pathetic creature. Pathetic creature feature. Could I actually kill him with a stab? I can't. I can't kill him with a stab. Should we curse him? Yeah, let's curse him. There we go. Take that. He misses quite a lot anyway, so to have his minus 10 accuracy. Oh, he might not even get to attack. Yeah, just go and beat him up. Oh, really? He gets left with one? Lucky bastard, but he's been stunned. 
doesn't matter he's not going to do anything so this was a pretty easy um fight considering we got ambushed bash and we'll be moving on and on oh cool well we got more jades and more onyx as well i always like it when you're getting stuff that you've already got that you can stack fortunately we can't stack these I have to take up a slot how much more food do we have i'm gonna eat that food i'll eat that food now i will just to free up some space might even just throw it away if we got a scout out, I might throw away some shovels as well if I don't need them, but I'm not entirely sure. I still might need a shovel in one of these two corridors. Uh, I'll take the torch. Doesn't matter. I mean, we can burn them, throw them away, do what we want with them. Uh, although we're probably not going to get enough time. Okay, cool. There we go. And a surprise. Surprise! Okay. Okay. How do we want to play this? Well, hmm. the thing is, I can hex one of these two. I can hex anyone, but he can only attack one of the front two with the move that does the more damage. So, and he'll probably attack. Well, he might not attack next. Well, we'll hex this guy anyway. Take that. He's got the most health points, so that kind of makes the most sense, I suppose. Uh, yeah, but see, so can't quite attack him with that move, which is a bit frustrating, but... But never mind, we can hit him with a finish him. Could, could in theory, kill him, but I don't think we will. So, um, let's... Or would it be better, actually? No, actually, fuck it. Let's just try that anyway. Because even if we don't actually finish him off, we, we've got a chance to do at least... Well, the minimum damage would leave him with four damage if we did hit. So, we should be able to kill him with a grape shot blast afterwards. So, yeah, let's do that. Cool, there you go. Oh, drop my mouse. Pick it back up. Yep, see, here comes grape shot blast. We'll kill our on hit. And it did. Okay, so we killed him, left these two, and a crippled pig. Um, they can blight me. I don't really want my stress raised, but not as good a chance to kill the swine wretch, you see. So, probably better to finish one of these off. Didn't want to gamble on full hits, basically, on full strength. Vomit. That's fine. I can live with that on him. It's all right. He's, he's a big man. He's an old man. He's seen it all. He can take all the stress in the world. You resist, dirty dog. Uh, right, you finish him. You've got a decent chance of doing it here. Come on. Ah, eight. So that was the minimum we could have done. So I'm not particularly happy with that. But, you know, it's not the end of the world because we will finish these pricks off Look like this. See, told you. You're dead. Curse. That curse, man. Killed loads of people. I might actually leave it. Then again, the demon pull is pretty handy. And, uh, yeah, finish you off. You know what? I might get rid of the sacrificial stab. I very rarely should use it or ever want to use it. Occasionally, I do use it when I'm in that front row. Like, you know, when you get surprised. But I think that might be the m m way forward. That curse thing isn't the worst thing in the world to have. Uh, another accuracy stone. Jesus, I've got tons of these. Uh, more crests, just the right amount as well to be able to take them all. Can we stack that? We can. I don't really need another accuracy stone. But um, I don't really need all this food either. So we'll take it. And then if we come across something better, we can throw it away. Heirloom chest. The contents are mine. Can we keep stacking that? No, unfortunately. All right, well, we've only got one room left to go in. So we can use that torch and probably throw away the other. And we can throw that away. And uh, I'll keep the rest. You never know, that torch still might need to be... I mean, that shovel still might need to be used because I haven't got a scout out ahead. Okay, invisible traps. Wonderful. There is going to be a fight in this last room as well, isn't there? Don't touch it. Good. Excellent. Yeah, there's going to be a fight because we haven't actually completed the uh, quest yet. So there we go. Okay, so basically the same fight we had a minute ago. Cool, and we're going to have the uh, same kind of issues. Or well, same questions po posed. Well, actually, we're not because they're going to get to attack before us now. So I tell you, well, not before everyone, but I tell you what I am going to do. He's going to mark me. It's him who's going to try and stress. These are going to try and blight. So let's just kill one. We can kill one of these. Let's do it. Bam. See you later toothy penis next okay he's gonna go and he did a critical you lucky bastard it's like i killed his friend and he was like i'll oh, fuck you up you killed my friend <laughs> um yeah okay you oh look at that criticals with that curse as well that curse is awesome i think i am actually gonna keep that curse love it favorite thing ah look no don't don't touch me oh what 
But he still got stressed, didn't do any damage to him, but he got, what did he get? Wasting sickness. What the fuck is that, anyway? Minus 50% disease resist. It's not the end of the world, but it's not particularly good either. It's like he's got AIDS. It's basically what it is. is it? His immune system's really bad. He's susceptible to diseases. Um, should we use the Grape Shot Blast here? It's not guaranteed to kill anyone. Yeah. It's really not guaranteed to kill anyone. So let's go Wicked Slice. That's probably a better chance to kill you. There we go. Bye-bye. Drums of the... It could have killed... I mean, the, the, sorry, going back to the Grape Shot Blast. It could have killed Crippled Pig, but there was no guarantees on it. I felt better about the odds of killing that with the Wicked Slice. Uh, we'll kill it now, though. There you go. Crushed its head with our mace. And uh, you... You can't kill... Well, well, you can, without a critical, actually. You can kill it. I... Uh, go on, see what you... Ooh, nah, nowhere near 10s. You could have done it, though. Could have done 16 damage. Decided to do a 10. Uh, hit that. Boom. All right, so we're good. We are done. Cool. 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 We got some good gold from here. Um, <laughs> all right, okay. We might, might even get more stuff from this treasure chest. Who knows? We might as well throw away this food. Then I can throw away the shovel. Take that. Yes, we are done. What are we going to get in here? Contents in mine. Uh, another portrait and some more gold. So we actually ended up with a leftover slot. Look at that. What a fool I am. If Noel Edmonds was here, he'd be telling me you made a bad choice. You could have got one more item. You know, he does that on, what's it called? Deal or no deal. It's like, yeah, man, man wins like 50,000. Turns out could have won like 75. It's like, don't you feel like an idiot? It's like, no, I'm all right. I won 50,000 pounds. But um, anyway, let's go to quest complete. The Blight Amulet. Uh, it's alright. Seen worse. But we, yeah, I actually felt like we got more money than that, but we obviously didn't. So we got a total of, what, 12, 13,000? Actually, no, 13,000 is alright. It's not too bad. It's pretty good. Shouldn't be so uh, greedy. What's the word? Greed! Okay. So that was it. Dunce went up. No one else went up a level. Interesting. Oh, actually, you did. You went up to level one. Uh, faithless. Don't care. Hard skinned. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, Valor gains. Fear of mankind. All right, we need to get rid of that. No one. You you can't be scared of humans. I mean, for starters, everyone who you're fighting with in your party is a human. So what? Are you scared of them? It's like Mostro. Ah, oh, go away. Don't like them. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know that doesn't actually have an effect on that, but I'm just saying, like in general, you don't want to fear mankind. Uh, unless you're an animal. If you're an animal, you probably want to fear mankind. I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. Okay. Okay. Blew it. That wasting sickness. Um, kind of not a big big fan of it. Not going to lie to you. It's, it's not something that I'm a. Not something that I'm going to allow you, you to uh, to stick with. So we'll get rid of it for you. Uh, Valor gains as well. Uh, not really happy of you being scared of men. So we'll get rid of that. Especially what happens if it starts raining them. Then what are you going to do? Uh, anyway, let's see. Embark. What are we going to do next? Oh, we could go and take on the Necromancer Lord. We could. <laughs> but we won't. Probably more to the point. Um, I don't know. I'll have a little think about it. But anyway, in between... If you enjoyed this episode, as always, please hit the like button, leave your comments, uh, let me know what you think I did right, let me know what you think I did wrong, how I can improve, all that jazz. Thanks for watching, and we shall see each other next time. Bye-bye.